In this video, we will introduce the following terms. We are already familiar with numbers, but we may not be familiar with some of these classifications. Counting numbers or natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. We start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we go on and on. This set of numbers is aptly called counting or natural numbers. But what about zero? Surely we are missing zero. When we add zero to the set of counting numbers, we produce a new set of numbers. This set is called whole numbers. Mr. Dubey, I would have seen negative numbers as well. Yes. Numbers such as negative 3, negative 5, negative 1, 62, etc. exist. Let's add in these numbers to form a new set. This new set is called integers. What about fractions, sir? Two thirds and a half doesn't fall under any of these three sets we have done so far. You are right. But remember that 1, 2, 0, negative 3, and negative 7 are fractions in themselves. They can be expressed as a fraction by putting that number over 1. 1 is the same as 1 over 1. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. 0 is the same as 0 over 1. Negative 3 is the same as negative 3 over 1. Negative 7 is the same as negative 7 over 1. There's a new set, rational numbers, which includes all the numbers you have seen before, plus all other fractions, including 2 thirds and a half, as we have already mentioned. So, are we missing any? Yes. Have you heard of pi? Pi is equal to 3.14159265358989 and goes on and on. Pi, 22 over 7. 22 divided by 7. When you look at the answer, the decimal places keep going and going and there is no identifiable pattern. It never stops. It never terminates. Similarly, the square root of 2 does not terminate and has no identifiable pattern, no repeating pattern. Because these numbers never terminate and have no repeating pattern, we cannot express them exactly as a fraction. So they are not fractions. But they are still numbers. These numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction are called irrational numbers. And I've listed some additional ones for you, like root 3, root 5 and root 7. So we are following. Is there a name for the set of all numbers, rational and irrational? Yes, there is. They are called real numbers. So real? Are they imaginary numbers as well? Actually, they are. But this is not the video to introduce them. Maybe I will later on. So let's recap. Counting numbers are these. Whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. Thank you very much.